First, let me initialize the index.html file and I'm going to create a div element to host the TradingView chart, import the TradingView charting library and also import the index.js file where we're going to write the code. And here I have the data.csv file where I have a comma separated list of rows. Uh, I just downloaded some sample candlestick data. The first field is timestamp. Then we have the open, low, high and close values. In the index.js file, first let's create a get data function and uh, I'm going to use the inbuilt fetch module to read the file and I'm going to resolve the data into plain text and for now let's just console log the data and see if it works. As you can see in the browser, you're able to see the data. We'll modify this function later, but let's move on to the next function. Now let's create a function called display chart where we're going to initialize the chart properties and you know, follow the same steps that we followed in the previous video. Create a DOM element, create a chart and add the candlestick series. Now we need to format each row into this structure. The first one is time in seconds and then open high low and close prices so we're going to revisit this get data function and we're going to convert the data into the required format now let's console log the data and see if the data is in the required format as you can see the data looks good now let's just return the data and then call this function in the display chart function and once we get the data we're just going to pass it on to the candlestick series. Now finally let's run the display chart function and you should now be able to see the data. I did this video a few years ago that lets you download candlestick data from Binance exchange. So I'm going to use this tool to extract uh, about 10,000 candles. So I want to demonstrate uh, converting candles from lower time frame to, to higher time frame. So for that, I think uh, having 10,000 candles will let you, you know, have enough candles even after conversion. So after downloading the code, again, you can watch that video to understand how to use this uh, tool. So I'm going to change the from and to timestamps. So each day you're going to have 1440 candles. I'm downloading on one minute time frame. So every day you have 24 times 60, that is 440 candles. And for 10 days, that's roughly 14,000 candles. So I'll change it from 1st Jan 2023 till 10th Jan 2023. So that should give me roughly, you know, 14,000 candles. And I'm also going to change the local string format from ENZB to ENUS because you know what let's run it first and then I'll explain why that is the case so when I run it you can see the logs here so we got the file you can look at the timestamp format it's in day and time but it's not in the format that we want so in, in the code we're using it in the AM and PM format so we want it in a specific format and to get it in that format I'll just change the timestamp format from EN GV to ENUS okay and now when I run it again cool so now I should get it in yeah AM and PM format there's one small change that we need to do I need to replace these quotes uh, which are not in the main uh, in, in the original file as you can see on the left hand side so I'll just change replace all the double quotes and also remove the header that's it so now I can use this file in my code so when I save it and hit refresh you can see that these 14,000 bars are now plotted now we'll work on converting these one minute candles to higher time frames before we work on the conversion of time frames I want to plot the volume series as well because converting the candles also require you to aggregate volume so I want to plot it on the chart so that when we later do the conversion it's visible and it's apparent so first to add volume I'm going to extract the volume from the row and also include that in here that's it I'm going to get rid of the log statement and also this get data the commented out code 
Now, if you go back to the page and refresh, it's not yet updated on the chart because for that you need to add a new series to the chart. It's it's a histogram series, and then you need to pass the volume data to that histogram series. So let's do that. So in the display chart function, let's isolate this code. So I'm going to write K line series and then volume series. All right. So under the K line series. I'm going to move add candlestick chart and then set data method and under the volume series so first I'm going to create a volume series which is again a histogram series and then I'm going to extract the volume data from the candlestick data I'm using the default colors for green and red red bars these are the default colors used in trading view and then I'm going to set the volume data to the volume series that's it when I hit save and go back to the page you can see that it's plotting but they are being plotted on their own price scale so it looks a little weird to fix that i need to pass an option to the histogram series which is price scale id so when i set price scale id to null it's going to use the same y axis for sorry it's going to use the same price scale for the chart series and candlestick series so if i go back to the page now we can see the volume is plotted but it takes up so much real estate so we want to condense the volume series to just the bottom 20% of the page and then the candlestick series to the top 80% of the page so let's do that so to achieve that i need to pass scale margins after creating the series so for the candlestick series i'm going to set the scale margins to top it starts from 10% from the top and ends at 20% from the bottom all right and for the volume series i'm going to set the margin from bottom 0 to top 80%. So setting it like this, the bottom 20% is used for volume series and everything above that is used for the candlestick series which as you can see it looks much cleaner and easy to read. All right, so with that out of the way, let's work on converting the time series. Before we look at the code, let's understand how this aggregation is going to work. So Let's start with an example. So I'm going to use 1 minute candles and use those to create 5 minute candles. So let's look at how we should aggregate the values. So let's say let's take uh, let's say we have the candle starting from 12:20 and if we were to do the 5 minute aggregation so we take all the candles from 12:20 till 12:24, right? And during this window uh the opening price of the 5 minute bar is going to be the opening price of the first candle. All right? and the closing price of the of the converted bar is going to be the closing price which is of the 1224 candle the last bar all right and the highest and lowest price is going to be the highest price of these four bars and the lowest price of these four bars so for open and high we take the first bar and the last bar and for the high and low we take the high of all the bars and low of all the bars during that window and speaking of volume we just need to add all the volumes of all the bars that fall into that window so that's the logic that we're going to use to aggregate candles so to do the aggregation first i'm going to store the window of different time frames in seconds tfw is short form for time frame window and these are the window duration in seconds for different time frames then i'm going to create a function to get normalized time frame which takes the current time frame and the time frame to which we are converting and gives you the normalized time frame so what do i mean by normalized time frame let's go back to the chart so if you go back to the chart so sometimes when there is no trading activity on a particular pair you will see gaps in data so whenever you have gaps let's take this bars right let's take the previous example from 1220 to 1224 all right so let's say there is no trading activity on 1220 and 1221 and the first bar that you see is 1222 right in that case when you do the aggregation then when you take the opening time stamp of the first bar which is 1222 this won't be accurate while calculating right so the starting price of the bar sorry the opening time stamp of the bar should still be 1220 right so you need to calculate the nearest time frame of the nearest time stamp of the window taking the first candle so that is where this normalized time frame function is going to work so it's going to take 1224 
and the time frame which is 5 minutes and it's going to return 1220 and this helps you in properly aggregating candles then then we're going to create a function called convert time frame which takes all the candles and converts to the target time frame all right we're going to create two variables which is result and the current k line then we're going to loop through all the candles and we have three different uh, checks that we do within the candles first on the first candle we just get the normalized time frame and calculate the current bar which is open high low close and volume and we just continue so that we go on to the next bar then every time the current time stamp is within the window we just do the aggregation that we discussed earlier so the open and high open and close will be set here but high and low as you can see we have to get all the bars and get the max and min and the volume is just going to be a sum summation so we just take the sum of all the bars that's what we're going to perform here and then we have another condition that every time we get a new candle we just push the existing candle to the result array and then start a new candle all over again so we just repeat that step on all the candles and then we just return the result which is going to have the aggregated candles then we can go back to the display chart function and then use this function to create converted candles for now let's just set the target time frame to 5 minutes and in the series we're going to use converted k lines instead of k line data we just pass converted k lines here and for the volume series we just pass converted k lines when so i hit save and go back to the chart you can see now it is rendered on 5 minute time frame so you can see that by looking at the time stamp so it's 635 640 645 as you can see it's aggregated on a 5 minute time frame this works on multiple time frame so if i set it to 15 minutes just make sure that you have the time frame window set for the window that you're aggregating so if so here you have 1 minute 2 minutes but let's say you don't have 5 minutes and when you try to aggregate on 5 minutes it will throw error because you need that window right so if i go back to the chart you can see it's not rendering properly so make sure you have that time frame window set i uh, uh, so i'll add the 5 minutes back now if i go back to the chart you can see it works properly so let's do it on 15 minutes time frame if i hit save the window is already there for 15 minutes if i go back to the chart you can see 8:15 8:30 8 8:45 9 yeah it it works fine but wouldn't it be nice if you have a select option on the top where you can just drop down the time frame you want and the chart is re-rendered with the updated time frame so let's do that so go back to the index.html file i'm going to add a select field with different options and whenever the value is changed i'm going to call the display chart with this value and i'll go back to index.js function i'll update the display chart function to take in target time frame and i'll just pass the type target time frame to the convert k lines function convert time frame function just hit save now when you go back to the chart you can see it works when i change the time frame uh it works but it's creating a new chart below that so we need to override the existing chart right so to fix that go back to display chart function and just set the dom element in a html to null so that it overrides the existing chart so when you go back to the chart it refresh and if i change to 15 minutes it is overwriting existing chart and if i select 10 minutes it doesn't work because again i need to add the time frame window back to the code and add 10 minute window and go back to the page it should work on the 10 minute as well a few things to keep in mind while doing the conversion uh in this case in this example we used 1 minute candles to create 5 minutes or higher order candles but you can use the same logic to aggregate 5 minute candles you can start with 5 minute candles and use them to create higher order candles but the only thing to keep in mind is that the base candles that you're using for aggregation should be a common factor of the higher time frame of the target time frame so what do we mean by common factor so by common factor it should be evenly divisible without leaving any reminder Now let's take an example. 
So let's say you're starting with 10 minute candles and using that to create 20 minute candles. It works because 20 is evenly divisible by 10 without leaving any reminder, right? But let's say you're using 10 minute candles to create 15 minute candles it doesn't work because 15 is not evenly divisible by 10 right it will leave a reminder 5 so yeah you should be careful it it works the logic works but make sure that the base candles that you use are is a common factor and it evenly divides the target time frame that you use one cheat code you can use for the aggregation is whenever you are aggregating one hour or below time frame then use the one minute as the baseline because one minute one is a common factor of any number right so whenever you're aggregating candles below the one hour use one minute candles but when you're aggregating above one hour like two hours four hours or one day or one week use the one hour candles so that way you're not processing as many candles but you still get the desired results without any issues that's it for this video again the code i will deploy it to github and share a link in the description it's free to use you can use it and as always Leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. Thank you.